Welcome to another video from ExplainingComputers.com As some of you know, I'm very interested in computing related health and safety. However, even though I take my own advice, recently I developed quite severe RSI. In this video, I'm going to show you how I overcame that situation. My RSI developed following surgical damage to my vocal cords. For many weeks, I could only communicate by typing, and inevitably this took a toll on the joints in my fingers, which became increasingly painful. The first thing I did was to take 48 hours complete keyboard rest. This was difficult, but is an essential first step in tackling any chronic RSI problem. For the following week, I then only typed by striking a keyboard with two pens. This does not use the same finger muscles as normal typing, and while slow, does prevent pain and help healing to occur. Before I started typing normally again, I also made hardware changes. For over 10 years, I'd used an Electron keyboard, which remains the best I have ever typed on. However, it does have keys with a standard travel. I therefore replaced it with a soft, low travel, chiclet keyboard. The one I bought was an unbranded model from Amazon, which turned out to be superb. In case you're wondering, this is not an Apple keyboard, although it does look very similar, if made out of plastic rather than metal. It took me several weeks to learn to type accurately on low travel chiclet keys, and I still cannot type as quickly as on a traditional keyboard design. However, after six weeks and taking other measures, I have almost no finger pain. The other hardware I changed was my rodent. For many years, I'd used a Wacom tablet with a freely interchangeable mouse and stylus. While the stylus is pretty RSI friendly, save for exercising the top knuckle of your index finger, using the mouse was causing me significant finger pain. I therefore purchased a 3M ergonomic mouse. This is available in small and large sizes to match different hands, and keeps all of your fingers curled at rest. Left and right clicks are made by rocking the thumb up or down. Note that while it may look like a joystick, the column is rigid and does not move. Like many people, I use a different computer at work, and here also made hardware changes. For various reasons, I could not duplicate my new home keyboard, and first got a Microsoft Arc model. This is a beautiful piece of kit, for some reason comes in a protective sleeve, and connects wirelessly via a dongle. The Microsoft Arc is rounded, with keys that are incredibly soft. However, in RSI terms, the cursor pad and top row keys are problematic, as they require quite a firm click. At the height of my RSI, this caused significant finger pain, so I also obtained an Emprex Ultra Slim Chiclet keyboard. This has standard cursor keys and a nice feel, if the worst of my three new keyboards. However, now that my RSI has all but disappeared, I have switched back to the Microsoft Arc. Taking the measures I've shown you, I beat my own RSI in about six weeks. Hopefully, if you're suffering from a similar condition, you can use some of my tips to do the same. You can also find more general health and safety information in my computing health and safety video or on explainingcomputers.com. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.